<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, let's play Minecraft. My name is Weasel, and it's been a long day, and I need uh, something to relax. And what better thing than Minecraft and getting eaten by zombies? That's always very relaxing. Hey, buddy, how about I take care of you? Yeah, come here. Come on. All right, so we are in version 116.1. I just noticed when I pulled up the game today that it auto-updated, and I'm, you know, I'm okay with that. I don't mind switching to a new version. I'm still gonna leave the texture pack despite it being intended for 15.1. So I learned a few things about, well, enchanting stuff. Um, I still don't have an enchanting table because I still need some obsidian for that and I yeah, I think I have enough diamond to pull that off Let's throw some where's my chest with that stuff. Oh good question Um, I think I just threw everything under junk. Yeah, there you go I'll just leave them here for now, but we're gonna go down looking for obsidian I had a spot where we had some lava and I can always like make myself some once I find lava And then we can make an obsidian table and we should look into making bookshelves might need a book though for a bookshelf I'm not entirely sure you upgrade your enchantment table with bookshelves. I don't understand how that works, but I guess just the power of them nearby improves it. By the way, someone was asking why I leave coal and whatnot around. Reason being is that I just wanted to mine into a specific direction and I didn't want to spend time mining that out. And I can always like grab it as I go through here. You know, I make my way through the way and then I can pick it up later. I wouldn't have made any progress if I didn't, you know, take uh, the time to just dig straight forward. I wouldn't have made a lot of progress if I just went and stopped everywhere I would have found resources and since it's such a big distance to cover well That's what I figured would be the best But of course, I'm going to mine the stuff and this here is a good start for a thing that I'd like to build I'd like to look into harvesting mobs for uh, Resources building like a like a mob trap of sorts because that's a thing that I learned when I was playing by myself That yeah, you're gonna need a lot of experience if you want to to level up your stuff. And again, most of the stuff is new to me, so what might seem obvious to you is probably not very obvious to me. Anyway, oh man, stopping everywhere for resources. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give the good stuff. But yes, let's talk about the goals for this episode. It's always good for me to kind of have a goal so I don't get lost in a completely different project and we never finish anything. I want to build an enchanting table and then I want to enchant some stuff. I think that's a reasonable idea and a reasonable plan and given that we're gonna need some obsidian for that I can combine it with mining around here and I think we're gonna need two obsidian which that should be it then right can I grab this obsidian even though there's a stairs and yep we can grab it very good I decided I wouldn't go and have a closer look into this area but now I'm tempted okay let's follow this shaft up it's way more interesting to just have a look here I'm expecting to encounter some enemies eventually wow this is quite the waterfall where is this coming from ooh Got ourselves some iron. I'll I'll have that. Thank you very much. Wait, are you telling me? Oh, okay, for a second I thought I had no torches, but I do have the ingredients for that. Just grab that iron while I'm at it. Perfect. I don't think there's really any more for me to go at. Yep, that's where the water spawns. Grab that remaining iron, and I guess I'm out of here. Not really a point. Having the torch here will remind me that if I ever make it back here, that we've already explored this. Oh, I'm not. I'm I'm not gonna leave that behind, gimme. And I'll grab that while we're at it. Sweet, sweet obsidian. I think we need two for a enchanting table. Uh, I might as well grab four while I'm at it. Eventually, I wanna build a nether portal as well. And you know what? Since I'm already finding all this obsidian, I might as well also build a nether portal. I don't intend to really explore too much of it, but I am certainly curious. Mm, you're probably behind this wall. I'm good right now. Okay, before I get lost in the tunnels, just mining. Give me that. Give me that. I will head back. Uh, if I stop everywhere for resources, <laughs> I'm not gonna get anything done. Okay. Oh, so much redstone. But I gotta, I gotta go back up. I gotta build the table. Grabbing coal. Okay, so we have seven obsidian blocks. So let's have a quick look at the crafting table and see what we need for the enchanting table. We need four obsidian, two diamond, and a book. I don't have a book. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna need some leather for that. Maybe I have some leather in my storage. Nope, just a lot of rotten flesh. Okay, so one way to get leather, and I only need one for a book, would be to fish. Might also be other ways, but I'm I'm not aware of them right now. It wouldn't even be the worst idea to hang out here for a while, farm some of the wheat that has grown, replant those bad boys, and then just relax with some fishing. Due to the magic of editing, you don't even have to sit here all the time. I can just tell you what I've been catching. But before we start fishing, I should probably empty out my inventory because I'm pretty, pretty full. Also, thank you so much for uh, explaining to me what's up with the weird Manta sky raises. I did not know that sleep deprivation was a mechanic in this game yet, so that was certainly a revelation to me. Anyway, where was I? Got a water bottle, mm, some rain, some raw salmon, raw cod, salmon, cod, salmon, more cod, more cod, and another salmon. And since it's getting dark, I think I'll be heading back for the night and get some much needed sleep before weird manta rays and zombies attack me again. Ah, I love the sound of rain on the roof. Let's see what another day of fishing will bring us. I'm gonna like row out a little bit. Not that I think that it makes a difference, but it's kind of nice. So we got a puffer fish, a saddle. Now that's a neat find. I can tame a horse with that, I think, probably. What else would I use it for? A salmon, a cod, rotten flesh. Ah, I thought it was leather. A nautilus shell, nice. Not entirely sure what I do with that, but it looks like I can make a certain block out of it. Some string. A cod, a cod, cod that I just threw over my head and that landed somewhere back there. A bowl. I fished a bowl. And lastly, another cod. Well, I didn't find any leather, but that's okay. I might have to reconsider the acquiring of leather. I most certainly am not going to find a lot while fishing. Time to harvest some of my sugar cane. I don't know about you, but this is very satisfying. Oh, I hear you gurgling over there. You wanna, you wanna put some money where that blubbery mouth of yours is? Yeah, I didn't think so. I could do this for hours. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you were hiding in the sugar cane. Get out of my fields. Ow, oh, I'm kind of over encumbered. Yup, the fences. Most certainly going to need the fences. Oh, god dang it, a creeper. My least favorite. All right, tell you what, I'll get some sleep and we deal with this stuff in the morning. Please go away. No, not like that. I don't want you to explode in my base. Let's keep our distance. Whew, okay. Okay, close call, but we got it. All right, let's make some paper. Yeah, sure, a few hundred paper seems like a fine idea. I might not need that much, but eh. let me get those uh, berries so we can plant some berry bushes around the parameter. I should also look into cacti because they might be more beneficial for mob farming, though I'm a little bit all over the place right now. I honestly don't even know if it would be a good idea to put berry bushes down. Maybe I should just build a cobblestone wall and some gates. I mean, after all, we have a lot of cobblestone stone from our mining excursions. So I don't know what the mob's preference is when it comes to walking through water, but my hope is that the wall will keep them at least out for a little bit. I also make sure that they can't just walk on over land again. What about some underwater walls? Yay, that seems like a really silly idea. But hey, if it ain't silly, it ain't weasel or something. I just realized how silly this is. Underwater walls. G Genius. What's next? Underwater torches? I guess you can use glow blocks, right? All right, that should at least keep them out from this side. And tell you what, I'm actually going to dig the dirt away around my island just to make sure they can't just jump up on the land again. Where are the dolphins jumping between my sugar cane? What are you guys up to? Can can you be helped? Here, I'll, I'll push you back. Go back in the water where you belong, silly dolphin. Also have to make sure to light up our island properly so nobody spawns on it because, you know, you can... You could do a lot of things to make your island secure. If you have mobs spawning inside your walls, it doesn't really matter how high they are. Okay, so I built a little bit of a wall around my island. Not too much, just, you know, one block high and spanning the whole parameter except where the sugar cane is because I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that. I'll still need to build some gates for these spots, but it will help keeping random mobs out so I'm not surprised while I'm doing things late at night. Very annoying. Ow, great, getting shot. And <laughs> uh, I bested myself. I kind of need a gate for this. Luckily daylight is approaching, which allows me to get some of that coveted wood. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> 
Why is this not working? Why would you do this to me, game? There you go. Much better. That was particularly weird. <sighs> okay, that's better. All right, that's looking great. We got one full field and the other one is nearing half capacity. But yeah, as much fun as it is collecting all of that sugar cane and the good stuff, I really have to get going to get myself an enchanting table. Okay, so I got pretty much all the things that I uh, would like to have with me. And I think I'm going to go out and see if I can find a village or some other interesting landmarks nearby. We do have a map that, since it's upgraded now, will allow us to find our way back fairly easily, I think. So I'm not too concerned that I'm going wandering. So how about we just head in this direction, facing east to be more specific. Oh, we got a little cave over here. It might be worth just exploring, having a quick look inside, throw some torches, see what's what. Yellow. Anyone home? Oh, that, that was it. Okay. A little bit of coal, but I'm not going to start mining this yet. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to pick up a few flowers. Uh, and seems like that I left pretty late in the day because it's already getting dark. So I didn't plan it out very well. One thing that I have to take care of real quick, though, is building a shield. And I hope that I can do it real quick. There you go. Gimme. All right. Where am I going in the middle of the night? I guess just further east. I think exploring the visible map would be a really uh, nice idea. I'm just going to grab this coal while I'm near it. I'm not going to do a whole lot during the day. I'm not going to get a whole lot done during the night anyway. Might as well grab some coal while I see it. Well, I might not have any leather yet, but I have a bunch of new coal. And I'll just leave myself a few little breadcrumbs. Oh, there's more coal. At this rate, I'll have to head back to HQ just to unload all of the coal that I'm mining. I don't know why, but I like the idea of putting a torch down wherever we mine out a little a deposit of ores and coal. Like a memento. As a reminder of the good days. Oh, that's looking neat. This little forest over here. Still no sign of a village, at least from what I can tell in the darkness right now. Oh, cool little uh, hole in this mountain. I don't know what you call those because they're not caves, are they? When there's just an opening like this leading to the other side of a little hill. And I'm pretty sure there goes my iron pickaxe. Okay, I have to leave the mountains behind me. Otherwise, I'm never going to get anywhere. Ooh, he says, looking below him. Ooh, sweet. We got a deep, deep chasm. I'm sure we could find some really nice resources here. Maybe some diamond. Oh, excuse me, spider. Nope. Bad spider. Mm, I'm tempted. Is that? Yep. That's an Enderman. Let's not look at him. Encountering the him the last time was not very fun. Trying to see if I can uh, maybe spot some diamond. Oh man, I am definitely in the wrong neighborhood. Oh, finally, dawn. Hello, cow. I really don't want to murder you for your leather. It just doesn't seem right to me. Oh, we got some big old mushrooms here. Wow, what do I get from them? Red mushrooms. Don't know what I can do with it. I doubt it would be a good idea to eat those. I don't know much about mushrooms, but the red ones with the white spots What's in it? Yeah, you don't eat those. I always forget to hold up my shield. Never had a shield before. Just so new to me. Well, I found some really neat looking flowers though, so I got that going for me, which is nice. Piggies! Uh, it's so tempting with the cows, but my prints are pulse. Not really sure what I do with these lily pads. Just gonna bring them along anyway. Oh, it looks like I can jump on them. That's that's adorable. Maybe I can make use of them near my pier so I can go out further into the sea and fish on a lily pad. Oh, I hear you, buddy. I don't know where exactly you are, but you're probably in some sort of cave. Okay, we got ourselves some chicken. I would still like some carrots. And then I'd also like to get some chicken, but you have to like lure them, don't you? I'm not sure you can incubate chicken from eggs. Oh, I forgot shears. I could have made a bed and skipped through nights. Actually, I can make sure since I have a little bit of iron with me. Hey, guys. I'm a... Oops, sorry. Did not mean to... <laughs> Hit you. My bad. I'm gonna grab some wool while I'm at it. I mean, it's warm anyway, right? You're gonna need to cool down a bit. Maybe we can even make some carpet with all of that wool. Okay, it looks like we reached the edge of our map. Of course, we could keep going further on and seeing the marker on the site will help us find our way back home. But for now, I'd like to stay within the confines of our little map and just see what we can find within it. <gasps> Look at that. I think we found ourselves a village or at least some sort of structure. I imagine it would be a village. Well, I see 
a few sheep. Yeah, I see several houses. It might be abandoned and we might encounter some zombones, but so far it's looking good. Hey, 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 I'm gonna steal some wool while I'm at it. Worst tourist ever, just stealing all of that wool. Alrighty then. Well, hello there. Hi, anyone home? We got some nice houses here. Ooh, pumpkin seeds. Here, I'll, I'll leave you some coal and some sand and some dirt and some sandstone. Don't say I never did anything for you. Ooh, everyone seems to be busy. I'm not seeing any villagers roaming around unless they're all dead. I got a few of, uh, got a few empty maps that I'll just take with me. Nah, I got enough paper at home as it is. I don't think we're gonna need that. Huh, not a single villager, it seems. They might have already passed. Maybe being murdered at night by zombies. I mean, that wouldn't be an outrageous assumption. Oh wait, there's more, more houses. Maybe they're over here. Oh, did I hear one? Oh yeah. Hey, what are you, excuse me, what are you doing there? Hi, you seem to be not stuck, I wanna say. Hi, uh, I'm Weasel. You are? Huh, okay. That's, that's an interesting name. Can't say I heard that one before. So is this your house? Because whoever's house this is, it's pretty insane. This doesn't seem stable. Let me help you out a little bit. And ooh, potatoes. I'm just gonna grab those if you don't mind. Here, uh, you can have some cobblestone. Good lad, good lad. Hmm, well, I thought the other house was weird, but this one seems to be taking the cake. At least we do have villagers. Very... <laughs> <laughs> Very small ones at that. Oh, well, I'm glad they're still reproducing. Ooh, more potatoes and bread. Well, I don't know what happened here, but it looks like pure insanity. I've got a little farm over here. Composter, more pumpkins. Any carrots by any chance? Well, we got a huge chasm right next to the farm. That's where that's where you want that, right? Yeah, that's where you want to keep your farm. Right, right next to the giant chasm that will swallow you whole. No, oh, you're having the right idea. Getting some sleep. Get out of that. Could you please get out of your bed? I want to sleep here. He'll be fine. I mean, he has to grow up one day anyway, so. And that's how you become a man. A man villager by staying outside at night. Yeah, the world generation did have fun with this one. Okay. Trying to make out if I can see anything of value. Whoops. Oh, okay. For a second, I was concerned that stuff was on fire here. That wouldn't have necessarily been a problem for me. The village being on fire seems to be more of a uh, their problem kind of situation. Hmm. I'm kind of eager to check this out. You know, that's a lot of fires on uh, hay floors next to trees, you know? Oh, this village keeps on going. Get ourselves a, excuse me, what are you? A weaponsmith. Ooh, iron sword. Don't have many emeralds at all. So I can't really partake in uh, this transaction. Oh, this house is completely floating. Now that's lovely. Those are my favorites. Oh, looks like there's access to this chasm down here. I can't help myself. I do want to explore this deep chasm. I know, still no leather. I might have to go for the cow one of these days unless I find a bastion in there that I explore. Anyways, let's go and make a chest to store some of the stuff we got in case we don't make it out alive. Better be safe than sorry. Okay, so now that we have all of our junk in a box, I think it's time for us to go and explore. Hmm, imagine the fastest way down is just gonna fall, but also probably the riskiest. One thing I'll do though is I'm going to bring some sticks with me and of course a whole bunch of ladders as well because I think that's going to be the easiest way to just get back up again by just building a way up with ladders. Okay I'm a little bit too nervous to just uh jump down but you know what no risk no fun it'll be fine right what's the worst that could happen yeah Okay, we survived. So that's that that's something. I got that going for me. It's time to light up this place. Ooh, okay. We found some lapis lazuli. Found this boy who can now blow up if he likes. Because uh, I'm not going to stop him. Oh, there's more. Look at all of you. Look at all of you being silly like that. Yeah, life gets so much easier with a shield. Okay. I'm just heading in one direction just to see where it will lead me. Further down the rabbit hole it goes. Ooh, I'm hearing some lava. That's good. Just keep going. Don't stop for anyone. Ooh. I 100% am not keeping track where I'm going. I'm just going for the darkness, putting down torches. Okay, good news. This seems to go in a circuit, so I can head back. 
not gonna mine any resources from that just yet, except the good stuff. But I'm not gonna stop for some coal. That is most certainly not worth it. Redstone and some gold, though? Not gonna say no to that. Hey, bud, how's it going? May I be of assistance by chopping off your head? You're welcome. That was free of charge. Oh, a bunch of obsidian. We can just generate that ourselves, so I don't really feel the need to deal with that right now. I am considering building up the ladder, though. All right, let's try not to fall, weasel. I know, crazy concept. Okay, we did halfway up to have a look around here. The chasm that keeps on giving, or whatever chasms do. Gaping? Do they gape? Does a chasm gape? Ugh, baby zombies, no thank you. Am I hearing a cat in here? Up, oh, there's a cat in here. What are you doing here, kitty cat? Did you fall in? I don't know if I can help you out of this, though. You might be on your own. I'm so sorry, buddy. I don't even think you are going to follow me, and I don't have any fish with me that I could feed you. Oh, oh lord. Okay, you just came crashing down. Oh, that's all he had to say about that. So, had a look here. Nothing spectacular going on. Just a bunch of coal from what I can tell. A cat. A little bit of iron here. I'm just gonna grab that while I'm at it. Kitty. <sighs> If I try to rescue you, it's going to take like a whole episode or two or three or you die just walking over there. You know what? I think this is part of the village. The villi village must have just spawned on this chasm. And that's why hay floors are around here. All right, up we go. Yes, gimme, 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 gimme. Okay, got a dead end over here. And we're just going to mine straight up, not stopping for anything. Have we made it up? Have we made it all the way up? Yes, we have. And there's my stuff over here. And of course, we have have a bunch of visitors. Hi, how about we do not murder everyone? Uh, I guess I'll have to deal with all of them. Your defenses are awful, villagers, and I'm not gonna help you with them. Gosh, so many. Please go away. Die in a fire. I mean, pick one. All right, and it is a beautiful day. All right, time to throw some of the more valuable stuff in here. And I'll even put down a little furnace so I can melt some stuff while I'm gone. Oh, wait, do we have coal with us? I'm sure we do. I farm so much coal. Of course we do. I just realized how am I going to get all of the stuff back home once this is filled up? I'm going to have to make some hard calls. Anyway, let's go back down. There's more to explore. Let's go ahead and deal with those spooders. Hey, what's up, fam? Man, not a single bit of diamond. Yes, we got some lapis lazuli. I shouldn't be too ungrateful because I'm sure the game will murder me if I am. All right, I'll just be heading back to the little cave system over here that I explored earlier, grab the resources, and then I'll think I'll be out. Well, I think it's fair to say that I've had enough of this chasm. I was really hoping for some exposed diamond. Oh, I see you over there. You're not gonna get me. Not today, you are. You stay on your side. But in terms of exploration, that was fairly neat. Well, I'm gonna leave a bunch of stuff behind. I think I'll be leaving my bed here as well, because if I ever come back, I guess I have one that I can use here. Okay, let's keep going. I think it would be beneficial to head back to base, but do so in an arc so that we explore more of the map. Ow, freaking bushes. Love berry bushes, but running into them is not fun. Ooh, foxes. Sorry, guys. Didn't, didn't mean to disturb you here. I'm just passing through. Good boys. Good boys. Boys. There's a lot of you around, huh? Ooh, wolves. Fantastic. That's not good. Okay, another chasm. I don't know if I have the stamina to deal with that. My inventory is already pretty full. Ooh, what are my tired eyes seeing down there? Are those rail tracks? Certainly look like them. Certainly look like it to me. Well, maybe I will be back. Can I even make that out on the map? Mm, I could guess. Good wolf. Don't, don't attack me, please. Maybe you can just build a bed real quick and sleep before any zombies spawn on me. Yep, that worked out. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, that's what you get. You burn. Oh, there's a forest fire. What a, what a beautiful uh, time to come around. Oh, you had to grow right next to lava, didn't you? Silly tree. That's how you get fires. I don't, I don't think uh, there's much we can do other than just leave the area so it stops burning because I'm pretty sure this is going to spread very easily. Well, let's leave before more fire starts to spread. I'm not the fire department. This ain't my job. Oh, it's a nice big open area. That is kind of like the perfect spot that I was looking for. Nice green grassy fields. But I got my house on my little island and that will have to do for now. Well, I certainly know where I'm going to find some animals if I want some. Ooh, just some exposed iron. Don't mind if I do. You just wait. I'll be 20 blocks from my home and I'll fall into lava because I just 
wanted to grab some iron here and there. Well, I have no idea what's going on over here, but it does look interesting. Got some really interesting natural occurrences and something less natural over there. <laughs> yep, there's a little bit more floating around. Just Minecraft things. We should be reaching home very soon. I'm just not seeing it. Where is it hiding? I should have gone for a higher base, but there it is. Home sweet home. The ugliest little house around. It's not much, but it's mine. Oh, we got a bunch of plants and saplings that we can do stuff with. Once we feel like it, that is. I'll have to make sure to set my spawn point. And I guess I'll go back to getting leather the only way I know how that doesn't involve murdering a cow. And it's fishing. I mean, how long can it take realistically? So I was kind of curious to see what the chances are of actually getting leather from fishing. And it turns out to be 1.2%. So not the absolute worst, but also not great. Excuse me, would you mind? I'm fishing. Very important business I'm attending here. Come on. I mean, I got leather boots, but that's not really what I want. But I could break it down and use boot leather. Mmm, boot leather. Wow, I, I was just here fishing and I paused the recording and I had all of a sudden two little zombies run down the pier to murder me. And now they're jumping down there. Man. Great, now you're just gonna moan all the time while I'm fishing. Great. Oh, I think they turned into weird underwater zombies by just being in the water. Well, good for you guys. I guess that's a step up on the career ladder for a zombie becoming an underwater zombie. Second pair of leather boots. You gotta be kidding me. Game is mocking me. Oh, good. One of you guys made it over. No idea how they're getting in. They might be spawning on the island somewhere rather than just walk in. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I think the wall is still doing a good job. Just being out here might not be super good at night. I don't plan to keep fishing through the night. I just want a single leather. Just one. Wouldn't it be great if I could enchant my fishing reel to reduce the time I have to wait? If only I had an enchanting table or some leather to make a book to make an enchanting table. Then again, having an unenchanted fishing pole, I think, is better to find more junk, which is what I need. Being a pescatarian in Minecraft is not easy. I don't know who's gonna break first, the fishing pole or me. Probably me. Ooh, I got a name tag. Isn't that snazzy? Getting all the treasure. At this rate, I'll get an enchanted book before I get leather. You know what? I'm gonna try a different spot. I don't actually believe that it'll make a difference. It's just for my own sanity. It's like gambling. You start to think, ooh, if I do this and that, maybe my chances will change. They won't. They never do. There's nothing you can do. Doesn't matter if it landed 100 times on red, it might just land on red again. It makes us feel like we're a little bit more in control than we actually are. Well, at least I'm not gonna be starving to death anytime soon with all of these fish. I just caught a tropical fish. Well, I didn't realize that over here would be considered tropical. Huh, that's interesting. Well, looks like I'll be eating Nemo. Mmm, eating Nemo. Well, I spend another full day fishing in Minecraft and yet no leather. I mean, we got a name tag, a bunch of fish, some leather boots, ink sack, two water bottles, a puffer fish. I guess it could have been worse, but the one thing that I wanted, I couldn't get. Well, that leaves me with one option. Actually, it leaves me with two. Either I murder a cow in cold blood, and I know you probably want me to, or I make my way to the bastion that we found. I, at least I think they are the ruins of a bastion because they are rail cart tracks, and I'd like to check those out, but that's gonna have to wait until the next episode. I'm not gonna lie, this was a weird one. We went exploring, we found a village, but yet we did not find the one thing we were looking for, leather. It seems easier to mine diamonds than to find leather while Fishing. Well, in good news, we finally finished up our garden beds, which should supply us with plenty of wheat for the future. We did build a wall around the island, and sure, it could probably be more effective in parts, but it's a start. We we'll also have plenty of sugarcane to throw into our compost, giving us all the bone meal we could ever dream of. And of course, we're not going to begin the next episode by making our way back to the chasm, where I expect there to be at least some sort of treasure. Now, I'll be heading there right now. And we made it back to our crafting table that we left behind. 
right above the chasm that I'd like to explore next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know this one was a weird one, but I still hope you had a good time. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Holy moly, I should have not moved. Wow, okay. Uh, I'll just be taking some steps back and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bow, 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 bow,